Hey guys, this is Dr. Sandy. It is day 21 of the Energy Challenge. And I'm actually on a course learning about how to um, follow your life's purpose, how to maximize your life, how to maximize your time, and make sure you're going to hit the target at the end of your life. So one thing I want to talk about related to energy as well is, um, how can I say this? You need to not only produce energy, have more energy, but you need to protect your energy. So what that would mean is, if you are doing certain activities that are taking away from you, that you know that are not following your core purpose, <clears throat> you may have to delegate those or get them out. So I'll give you an example. So obviously living in Canada, winter time's coming. So maybe this might be the first year that you hire someone to shovel the snow. And you might look at me and go, well, that sounds good. I just don't know, you know, financially, can we afford that? So maybe you'll start with once or twice a week and you do the other days. Maybe if you're listening to this and it's about cutting your lawn or maybe it's something like, um, you know, the laundry in your house or whatever it is. Maybe once a month or every week you have someone clean the house. And what that does, you have to remember, <clears throat> and I'm the most optimistic, high energy guy you can meet. Um, we have finite energy. Even if you do everything with high energy, you still have to sleep, you still have to eat. And you have to ask yourself every day, am I getting closer to my purpose? Am I protecting my energy? Am I using my energy for my life purpose? Um, but, you know, other things that you just know are taking away from you, just start on a gradient. And you don't even try this experiment for a month and I'm like, no, no, I'm not into delegation. I'm Okay, that's fine. But when I've seen people who are successful, high performers, um, they use a lot of their energy strictly for what they're doing, like an athlete or I guess like an artist or something. And what we can do is learn from them and say, okay, how can I emulate that? Can I emulate all of it? Can I emulate some of it? You know, and just protect your energy. Things you don't like that you know you can hire someone, have someone help you with it, um, modify it. And that's the other thing. Maybe you're like, I can't have someone hire me. Uh, I can't hire someone to shovel my driveway or cut the grass. But maybe you can have someone help you, you know, your neighbor, your kids or something like that. So come up with solutions where you can say, look, I have X amount of energy in a day. Am I using it for my life purpose? And if you do, your energy will be higher. You're going to be happier. If you're happier, the energy gets better. It's just a positive circle and it will make a difference. So try to laser focus all your energy on your life purpose. Free yourself up from things that aren't giving you energy and then naturally the energy is going to rise. So hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, October 30th, we're having that class on Tuesday at the host energy class. It's full. We're creating a waiting list. But if you want to be on that waiting list, let us know. Please share, like, comment, uh, follow these videos. I, I really want to give you amazing value and change your life. God bless.